I always use the First World War as the sort of, you know, as the sort of line. And there was a Tommy before the First World War, and then that happened, and then there's a Tommy Shelby after the, the First World War, and, and he's the one that we meet at the beginning of series one. He looked at me the wrong way. It's not a good idea to look at Tommy Shelby the wrong way. Oh, the men that came back from that conflict were, were, were de just devastated. And so there was this huge societal change where you had all these men who had witnessed war on a scale that we'd never sort of imagined. It's all right. It's all right. And of course, back then, they were just spat back into society with no help. For Tommy, I think what it did was it, he lost all faith. Religion was it's just a joke. You know, authority was just a joke. You know, the establishment was a joke. Tommy was a clay kicker in the First World War, which is basically a tunneler. They tunneled under enemy lines and set explosives. And so it was the most claustrophobic, horrific, dark, job you could possibly have, like the worst of the worst, you know. And he seems to turn that trauma into this kind of relentless ambition because he, he could have died at any point there. He's not afraid of death, so every day is just like for free, so why not? He's a fascinating character then because he's relentless and fearless. To encounter him as an enemy is, is pretty scary because of that lack of fear. There's no rest for me in this world. But I'm the next. Also, I think he's burdened with an intellect and trying to sort of move in the world of mere mortals who process stuff at a much slower pace, I think for Tommy is very, very frustrating. I think so that you don't have to. I think the way Tommy operates is the smart people make the decisions and the less smart people carry them out. <laughs> and that seems to him to be the logical way of things. And in his eyes, Polly and him are the smart ones. They make the strategy and it's carried out by the other members of the family. Why don't you stay with us? Why you stay back? Let's go! I think the pre-war Tommy, he smiled a lot, he laughed a lot, he, he wanted to work with horses. He was very romantic. You know, all of these things, you see scratches of them, you know, throughout the, the show, and there's times when he feels like he's getting towards some sort of healing when he's with Grace, and then it's taken away again. And then he retreats back into that kind of shell emotionally, and even though what he does in all of the series, a lot of the actions are obviously morally, completely at odds with what any of us would agree with. That's why people are fascinated by him, because we see in him a magnified version of what all humans are like. And his goal, ultimately, you know, to protect his family. People can identify with that. But I feel incredibly privileged to be part of a show that has incrementally improved season upon season. And I'm very proud that we've managed to do that, yeah.